Today, we're going to show you how to connect your Xbox controller to your iPad or iPhone. Because let's face it, playing games with a touchscreen is not very enjoyable. To start with, you need to put your Xbox controller into pairing mode. To do this, press the X button to turn it on. Then, on the back of the controller, press the pairing button. Press and hold until you see the X light up rapidly. Now, go into settings on your iPad. Go to Bluetooth, and you should see Xbox wireless controller. Just tap on that and it should pair. You'll know it's paired once the light turns a solid white color and it says connected on the iPad. Some of the advantages to using your Xbox controller with your iPad or iPhone is that you can sit back and relax and play a game. You don't have to hold a quite a heavy and big iPad Pro and then be tilting it with racing games or trying to move around with the, the touch controls buttons. And you get more of a tactile response when you're pressing the triggers and moving around with the joysticks. Let's be honest, it's just a more enjoyable experience. Combining the two and the Xbox app, you can easily play your Xbox on the go. Combine your iPad with a stand case like this one from UAG and you can easily sit back and relax and play some games on the sofa. We personally chose this UAG case because it can stand in multiple different positions and is very easy to set up with this heavy 12.9 inch iPad Pro. If you're interested in buying this case for your iPad, please check out the links in the description. Right, now that's out of the way, let's test it and see if the controller lives up to the hype. The controller won't work with every single game. However, we're testing it with Real Racing 3 and we've also tested it with Asphalt 9. So please check the game is compatible with using the Xbox controller before purchasing it. Once you're finished using the Xbox controller and want to use it again with your Xbox, simply press the on button again, then press the pairing button until the light flashes rapidly then you can connect it with your Xbox by just pressing the same button on that. Playing Real Racing 3 has been a lot easier using the controller rather than trying to hold this large iPad. It also gave me a lot more control over my car in the game and actually made me win. So there you go, an easy way to pair your Xbox controller with your iPad or iPhone. Just remember to pick up a case for your iPad if you're going to be doing it. If you've enjoyed this video, drop us a like and consider subscribing. And if you need to pick up a case for your iPad to play some games, please visit the links in the description below.